Laat het niet die dag. Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Lena. I'm going to be a first year third grade teacher in Arizona. Thank you guys so much for clicking on this video. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And let's get into day two of classroom setup. Okay, you guys, quick um, tip. These scrapbook cases from Michaels, the recollections. Um, I loved how they looked and everything. They are not the best. Um, as you can see... And I haven't used these, like they've been sitting in my room, like waiting till I move into my classroom. And this is what it looks like. And it just won't close because of that. And then there's another one too that has a small crack right here and won't close. Um, but I still have one going strong. Maybe it's because I haven't even opened it or really done anything with it. But yeah, I don't really recommend these. Um, I know that they're plastic and this will happen, but um, I have never even put anything in this, <laughs> so yeah, that is concerning to me, so yeah, just a little tip for you guys. Alright guys, we are on our way, I just picked up some yummy coffee from Black Rock, it's so good, um, and I got six dollars and quarters because it comes to like five something, and then I just thought I'd tip them the rest, um, and uh, they were like, do you want to use your free coffee today? And I was like, oh. Um, so I didn't, but that makes me happy though because then I can tomorrow or something because I'm just obsessed with it. But I'm going to start making my own again because now I have to go to school every day um, and set up because then I start training on Monday. Um, and then the following Monday, we start uh, school online. So... Yeah, I'm pretty excited. I'm excited to get my room um, more put together today. Those desks just are really bothering me. <laughs> um, my sister has like kind of a high top uh, table that's white and I was gonna put a dry erase um, peel and stick on the top. Um, and so I'm hoping that's gonna be okay just because it's a wipe down surface. Um, so I'm going to email my principal today and see what she says. Um, but other than that, I will see you guys um, at the school. All right. Okay, you guys, so I made it inside and it's just, this is like the first time I've walked in here to it like kind of set up and it's just really exciting. So this is kind of, kind of what I walked into. Um, I brought my diploma and I brought some of these too so super cute so I think I'm gonna start like organizing um not really sure but yeah maybe I'll just time lapse you I don't know you'll watch me just figure it out um but yeah I'm super excited so yeah and a lot of you guys were asking about this wallpaper it is the better than paper wallpaper um this is what it looks like. Um, where is my other one? Oh, here it is. So this is what it looks like, the better than paper wallpaper. And we just stapled it. Um, so we like opened up the stapler and stapled it. Um, it kind of bubbled. Um, so you kind of have to start on one end and push it, it's the air out and like staple it as you go. Um, so yeah, it turned out really good. A lot of you guys like it, so I'm really excited. Um, this was something that I wanted to get done right away. Um, and then I know I kind of sent this in yesterday's video, but these tables never were in my plan. Um, I was planning on having a big carpet. Like I just need to get um, permission from my admin on what I could do. Um, and then today for sure, we are putting up uh, two bulletin boards right there. Um, and then I think I'm gonna be doing my alphabet in my number line. I don't know where I want um, those yet. I was originally having the alphabet here. Um, and so I think that's what I wanna do. Um, but yeah, I think I might even do that bright pink. I bought this, um, um, this pink um, bulletin board paper off of Amazon. I'll link it below. I know yesterday I didn't link anything so I will try to do that today. Okay so I'm using Confetti and Creativity's um, floral farmhouse bundle. Um, 
So I'm kind of tying in these color pinks. That's why I got these. Um, these are wiped down too, so I'm hoping. I just really want a carpet. Um, so I thought that pink paper would look cute. I know that there's orange, so I might need to incorporate, well, the chairs, actually. <laughs> Come on, focus. Oh my gosh, camera. <laughs> Okay, so I'm just organizing organizing these um, in the alphabet, and then I'm gonna put them on here. The middle two letters are M and N, and I figured, I kind of counted the tiles on the top to figure out that right here, that middle one right there, is the center of the room, or the wall. And so I'm going to put M and N right there and then kind of work my way outwards, if that makes sense. But first I wanna kind of put these um, in order. These are so cute. I sprayed these with the matte finisher. I'll insert a little um, thing right here. Um, but just so the glare, it's not as glary when it's up there, so yeah. Okay, so here it is. It goes there and then back there and then up there and there, so. Going to put my ladder up and set you guys up so you can watch me um, hopefully not fail at this. So let's go. By the way, I'm using a stapler to put this up. Okay, so I heard the cleaning ladies kind of like try and get in my door and it was locked. And I was like, what the heck? Why is it locked? And so I never like had to deal with keys. I know how ridiculous that sounds, but like I always used to go through the garage in my house. Um, we never really had to deal with keys, and so I'm so bad at it. So I'm trying to like figure out how to unlock it and stuff. Um, but I figured it out, so let's just get back to it. up here so tall um so unlike me um but um how i'm doing this basically is i'm stapling them together from here leaving this open and then what i'll do is i'll put this one on it kind of see where i want it um and then staple it again there leave that open just so i'm not using as many staples and um it's turning out very cute so if you are wondering that is what i'm doing Okay, so I finished that. Oh, it looks so cute. I just love how the pink really like comes together. Um, yeah, and it's pretty centered, I would say, and it's pretty straight. I'm pretty proud of myself, and I know I just said pretty a lot of times. So um, this one, I think I'm gonna do this. Um, and then I have some polka dot um, border. I honestly don't know if I have enough probably not but maybe actually um and it's just square so that's going to be cute i'm going to attempt to do this this um actually is my first bulletin board i'm doing so thought i'd document it right um so i'm just going to set you guys up right here so you can see so pretty do you guys see this it's like a baby pink i love it Okay, so um, it obviously stopped recording, but I don't know where you guys last saw it. But here is the, come on. My camera literally sucks, come on. Okay, so that is the finished product. It looks so cute, oh my goodness. Um, I think I might like put some double-sided tape right there or something, but um, yeah, it is coming along nicely, so cute. Corona, the Corona came to town. It is so cute. 
Um, it's basically about the coronavirus. Um, and this is cute. It's like little time capsule. So when you open the book, um, but it just talks about basically wearing a mask, staying clean. I thought that was cute. Um, so yeah, I'm just gonna put them in there. Okay, so I'm in my storage closet right now. Um, I'm going to go through these books. These um, look like chapter books, so um, I probably will keep all of them um, just because it's good. Um, and then I will just go through the rest of these. So yeah, I'll be back in a sec. Hi guys, I just hit 500 subscribers on YouTube. You guys are loving my first uh, classroom setup vlog, so I'm so grateful for you guys. I know it's in, in retrospect not a lot, but it's a lot for me. So thank you guys so much for all the love and support. And yeah, so I'll just show you guys what I am doing. So I went through these books. Um, there's some duplicates um, and then some of them that um, like just kind of ended. <laughs> um, I don't know about this Justin Bieber one. Like it's just, I don't know. Um, this isn't even what he looks like anymore. <laughs> I don't know. Um, and like the same with that. So we'll just see. I really want this Wayside School, but because it's the whole book, but the front cover is missing. So I'm not sure what to do. Um, but yeah, that kind of deals with that. But I um, ran out of labels. And so I meant to go to the store yesterday and grab some of the Avery labels so I can print more, um, but I didn't. So I think I'm gonna do that today. And then tomorrow when I come in, um, do more of the library and that's kind of yeah so maybe I'll go through these because I want to get go through a lot of this stuff before I start decorating I think my mom's coming today so when she does come I think she's gonna help me with the two bulletin boards so um, yeah but I kind of just want to get stuff kind of cleaned a little bit so yeah I'm gonna do this table right here okay you guys a little update um, I kind of went through everything but this box. I still have a lot to go through, but I'm figuring out it's just a lot of school supplies. So look at all these file folders. Um, and then these manila folders. I think that's what they're called. <laughs> um, and then all of these folders too. And then I kind of started putting things in here. Okay, so this first one is a, a blank white paper, lined paper, colorful paper, um, some math sprints that I found, and then some spelling, blank spelling lists that I found. Um, and then look how awesome these are. I found them in that box right there and they're like brand new. It, they just have not even been used. So I'm so glad I never purchased these um, because look how many I have now. It's awesome. Um, I don't know what I'm gonna do with them yet. Maybe that's why I'd never bought them. <laughs> but um, yeah, so my mom's actually not coming today. Um, she like went to the grocery store in Costco and I was just like, just stay home, it's fine. Because my school is a little bit farther away from where I live. Um, so yeah, but I think my sister's gonna come tomorrow and then we'll do the library um, section. And I think, um, I don't know if it's gonna fit, so. There's this, I don't know. So we'll, we'll figure it out, I promise. Okay, okay. Okay, you guys, so it's 1.50. Um, I'm hungry, I've only had coffee and a protein shake this morning at like seven. And then I've had this, been sipping on the coffee, but I'm all out and so I'm kind of getting hungry. Um, so I just ordered some Chipotle. I know I ate it yesterday, but it's really funny because I haven't had Chipotle in so long, but this past week I've had it three times. So I don't know why I just all of a sudden wanted it again. I stopped eating it for a while because like, let's just say it came out um, through my mouth <laughs> when I ate it one time and so that kind of scarred me. So um, yeah, I'm hungry, I need some energy. Um, so that's what the table looks like. I don't really know what I'm gonna do with all this su these supplies. I know I should keep them, but there's just a lot, so. Um, yeah, I'm gonna try and see, kind of clear this off, kind of go through these. These are just like really gross. Um, 
they've been used for a long time it looks like so I just feel bad throwing it away um, but like I don't know what I'm gonna use these for um, I know I can use them as whiteboards but um, I'd rather just invest in personal whiteboards or start a donor choose project because um, yeah, I don't know. I think I'm also gonna do a donor's choose for a carpet if I can get one. I need to email my principal when I get home kind of to see what it is all doing. So um, yeah, we'll just see what happens. Um, I'm gonna go pick up my food right now. So I will be right back. Okay guys, I'm back. I have my Chipotle. Um, I'm sorry again that I got it again. <laughs> she is not sorry because this is so good. Thank you. Yeah, today's been really exciting, um, kind of. I'm so happy I got the alphabet wall done. Um, so <clears throat> I wanted to see what that would look like and I actually really like the pink um, bulletin board right there. I think it looks so cute. Um, but yeah, I just need to kind of plan what I want my other walls to look like. I know that these two behind me, I'm doing the bulletin board um, with the burlap and the eucalyptus wreaths. Um, so hopefully I'll do that tomorrow with my sister. Um, and then I just, I don't know what to do. Oh, there goes my battery. <laughs> Got some volcanic rock. Um, third graders learn about the rock cycle, so this is really nice that I found um, a rock book and some actual rocks, so that's pretty cool. Um, but there are a lot, I mean a lot of low-level books, um, so the ones that are really tiny and have like um, small sentences on them, um, like I just... I don't know what to do with all of them and I don't know what this is and then I found two scales like so this is pretty cool like I could keep these do something with them science related maybe but then I have a bunch of fifth grade stuff so there's some there and then where is the other stuff where did I put it oh right here so fifth grade, so I know I can sometimes use fourth grade if I have higher level um, kids, but I just don't know what to do with all the fifth grade stuff. So, we will see. But then, there's books in here. I just, and they're really nice. Like, there's really nice books in here. So, oh, and then a bunch of like teaching books. Um, <clears throat> but yeah, there, there's just a lot of books. So I'm just gonna go through them and update you guys in a little bit, so yeah. All right, you guys, I'm finding some really good books. Actually, like the last stop on Market Street, I'm so happy that I found this book in here. Um, I found a dog man book. Um, just like really good books that like are very new. Um, also, um, The First Days of School um, by Harry Wong. Found this, it's like, brand new um but yeah i'm finding some good books that i think my students can read whenever they want to so i'm just gonna keep doing my thing and so what i'm really doing is i'm looking at how many words are on a page um so if there's like a sentence on a page i'm putting it over here um just because those are younger grades um but I know that I'll have some kids that will be below grade level um, reading. So I'm um, keeping some. Um, I just don't know what to do with all of them yet. So um, yeah, but I also have so many dictionaries. Let me show you guys, because I just grabbed a thesaurus. That's what that is right there. Ooh. Look how many dictionaries I have. I'm so grateful for, like there's just so many. Um, I found a Spanish English dictionary, so cool, and then a student thesaurus. So I'm very grateful right now to find all of these, hold on, to find all of these dictionaries. It's awesome.
and these scholastic ones perfect so yeah this is the last um bin i have to do as you can see um oh but then yeah these are all like the really nice books that look like haven't even been used um and then look at this awesome huge book um all about airplanes i know that who's ever interested in airplanes or find them interesting like we'll love this book it opens up it's very interactive um i know a lot of times uh students like to um look at the pictures <laughs> so i don't mind as long as they're you know reading or trying to um learn the words so yeah this one's like super cool um and then i found this it's an audio book and then here is the book i found so pretty cool um so yeah i'm just gonna keep doing what i'm doing but um it's three o'clock right now oh my god i hate that i'm sorry um but yeah we're just gonna keep on going let's go what do you guys do with these books that just are not i guess i could glue it glue that together i need to fix this um also i'm thinking to i don't know if you guys have seen but um the book quarantine um like bin that students will put the books that they've read in that just so the teachers can sanitize it and so i'm thinking i have a three-tiered rolling cart i'm thinking i could do book quarantine book hospital for books that um just need a little bit more tlc um, but what would be the third one? Because it's a three tier. So if you have any ideas or you like the idea of book quarantine, book hospital, um, yeah, just let me know what the what you think would be for a good um, third one because I really like the two, but I just don't know what I would put on the bottom one. Um, so comment down below if you have any ideas because if I see any of your ideas, then I might um, cut out the vinyl um, and put it on. So, yeah. Let's just get back to it. Um, this is so funny. A thousand and one ways, or a thousand and one things to do when there's nothing to do. So, if I have students who are like, I don't know what to do. Um, there's all of these ideas. <laughs> all of these. I love finding doubles because it's just really good if you have doubles. Look, another dictionary, you guys. And this is a visual. So this is gonna be great for English language learners um, just to get a visual. Um, so why not? Look, another Stanley book. Guys, let me know what um, I could do with these books that just need some love. Um, because it's still, you can still read it. So I don't want to like not keep it because anyone can read it. It's just not in the best condition. Um, but I'm very grateful for all these books. See, I have four of them right here, all the same book perfect for a small group um yes so what my cooperating teacher did last year is um is that he had little like folder like magazine holder kind of things with um books separated by the ar level and the ar um yeah the ar level basically and so uh, part of me like with all these picture books more like, I feel like I might do that. Um, I don't think AR is um, mandatory at our school. I just think it'd be really um, helpful to have that just, at, just to use it for um, taking AR quizzes. I think it'll be a great um, way to track comprehension with the books that they read. That would be the only reason I use AR is just if they're done with a book, just take the test, see how you did. Um, I don't know. I like that. Um, but let me know what you think about AR um, and how you use it. What the heck? What is this language in this book? Perhaps the Herbert Gil Gilson is not such a stuck-up snob. <laughs> I don't know. I'm just 
you're someone who like is always nice to people and if they have this language in a book i just think that it kind of um just isn't good all right that is it wow um my back hurts but all of these right there are the lower level books um so i think i'm going to put them in a box i'm not sure what to do with them but i think i might move all of these books separate them between chapter books and picture books and put these as well on this table so then when tomorrow when my sister and i come um, i'm going to print off more labels tonight for the library and then maybe when she's here she she can do that and then I can help her um, just so we can get this looking a little bit better um this is also full of books I already know these are the books I bought at um, Goodwill that is not gonna fit everything so I don't know you guys you should see what this looks like um can't you believe i got all these books for free <laughs> um so some of them are scholastics um so i'm not sure um where like my curriculum is for my books um so I don't know if I'm gonna get that when we start our training or not, um, because I don't wanna be putting like my sticker with my name on it in these books if they belong to the school. Um, so I might ask my principal that. I have to email her with a few questions. Um, but yeah, it is looking good. <laughs> okay, you guys, it is 4.30. Um, I'm getting tired. Um, this is what I did, so the last clip all the books were here it's now the picture books um and then i organized all of the chapter books by alphabet so then when we come tomorrow it'll be easy to do that um and then we got more books here that's not gonna fit um i put a wednesday to-do list for tomorrow so library we need to put the labels on the books hopefully do the bullet that is spelled wrong <laughs> oh my god you guys see how tired i am yeah that's spelled wrong um but the arrows are pointing for those two um and then i need to go through my math manipulatives which are up there so i'm gonna go through those tomorrow but other than that it's kind of looking like a mess um, I feel like I made a huge mess today, but I actually went through a lot because all of this stuff right there is gone. So I need to figure out what I'm going to do with these books. Um, might just put them in one of those bins and then just label it lower level books. Um, but yeah, I think I'm going to end the vlog here. Um, I think I'm going to be combining two and three. I did a poll on Instagram, so I'm going to see how that does. But I just have a feeling we're going to combine them. So I will see you guys tomorrow. Bye. Hi, guys. I just got my coffee. Welcome to day three of classroom setup. Um, so, yeah, I'm kind of addicted to coffee, but it's fine. I'm going to start making my own. I know I said that in yesterday but it's fine um <laughs> i'm gonna run to joanne's um and pick something up and then i'll see you guys in the classroom bye okay you guys i am here um i'm kind of a little late just because i had to go to joanne's to pick up hold on to pick up one more wreath um i would just was down one because the last time i went to joanne's I grabbed all of them so um, this was on sale for 40% off 
Um, and then I got some of these wire things. I got the brown color just because we're going to be tying them together um, in the wreath. And those are going to match all of these over here. So there's one. It's a trash can. And then all of those in there. And so those are going to be going on each um, separate corner on that bulletin board and then this bulletin board because um, we didn't get to that yesterday and then oh my god did I oh no they're right here oh <gasps> thank goodness okay so I printed off my library labels from lessons with laughter um, I did these to some of my books and um, I use the same style, the 8160 style, but the printer at the time that I had was not an inkjet or whatever, so they printed off. Um, so some of them are like not centered in the sticker, but that's fine. So I printed brand new ones, and also I created these um, that go inside of my books. So um, most of these in here are mine and have the stickers so see do you see how that p come on focus okay so you see how that p is just higher up it's not centered that's kind of what i mean so um yeah oh my gosh i forgot to show you guys this so this right here is the same style as that but has four my mom had this in her house. That's how I found those, because I just loved the style of them. And I went on Walmart to see if I could get one of those, but they're out of stock, so I asked her if we could borrow the one that she already has, and then when they get back in stock, kind of just buy one, so then I didn't take her storage. Um, but I don't know if you guys can tell when she did that. <laughs> so I don't know really how I'm gonna fix that. Um, yeah, so I think I'm just gonna let it be, because it doesn't really matter. So I'm going to put that right there. Hmm. Mm -hmm. Um, I don't know. Because I like how if you walk in the door kind of see that which I like um maybe a little bit more like open it up a little bit and then that like that is that better let's see okay that's like better I feel like if once the books are in it might look cute um yeah, I think. <laughs> I don't know. So maybe, I don't know. <gasps> you guys, I just put these eucalyptus things. I know it's so random, but that is just so cute. I can't wait for my books to be on that. Oh my God. Isn't that amazing? But yesterday, I know, I don't know if you guys remember, but my mom was supposed to come and help me, but she ended up going to Costco, and it just was a lot for her to come all the way over here, um, and so she ended up staying home, <laughs> but my mom, being my mom, she found this. Tell me this is not the coolest globe you have ever seen. I just feel like you can't really find globes anywhere and she knows that and I think she wanted me to have this in my classroom um, I definitely wanted to have it in my classroom so here it is all right here it is it's a 12 inch diameter um, classic globe she got this at Costco and the bottom <gasps> I'm just so obsessed you never see globes anymore or is that just me I don't know but so cute Love it. I'm gonna I think I'm gonna put it on that shelf. Now let's see what that looks like. And that is trash. Cute. Obviously, I don't know if that's gonna stay there, but I just have the plug. <laughs> 
Okay, so I'm going to attempt to do the bulletin board. Um, I'm waiting for my sister to get here so we can work on the books right here. Um, I think that'd be fun for us to do together. Um, and so I don't wanna go through my math manipulatives yet because I forgot the bins that I was going to do and I don't want, these tables are already messy right now that I'd wanna get the library done first, clean off this table and then put the math manipulatives on this table. So in the meantime, I am going to attempt to put up these bulletin boards on both sides of there. I don't know how it's gonna be. So just wish me luck. All right, so this is my inspiration. So they are pointing upward. Okay, so in the picture, um, it's going um, up like that. So basically, this is gonna be the width of my bulletin board. So I'm only gonna measure um, the length of it and I need my tape measure. Okay, so I'm gonna cut four feet of this two times, put it up there and then I'll be back. Okay, so I basically laid it out. This is four feet, so I'm just going to cut it along there and then do another one. But this is kind of how I set it up. If you guys were curious, just on the floor, I use my tape measure and yeah. Okay, so here I am putting the paper on the wall. Um, this paper is kind of difficult to work with if you are alone, just because it likes to curl back into its form and then it likes to bubble. So as you see here, I'm kind of stapling it and then unstapling it and kind of fixing it, but that's why this paper is so amazing because you're unable to see the holes that the staples make, so it's just very good overall. But yeah, just kind of fidget with it and then you'll get it. Okay, so I got burlap from Hobby Lobby. Total was $16 because I got had them cut it, so it's just like big, huge things of burlap. Um, I'm gonna follow uh, Janice's video, so I will link it down below if you guys are interested. Um, but yeah, I'm just going to cut probably like this big of strips from this and kind of figure out how to go. I'm gonna watch her video real quick just so I get a little refresher on how to do it. Okay, I'm going to attempt this. I really don't know how it's going to work. So, I have push pins and I have staplers. She ended up using staplers at the end. So, I'm gonna push pins these it's just easier to kind of maneuver with using these so I'm using this So it actually is coming along. I really have no idea what I'm doing, you guys. Um, yeah, no idea. So <laughs> I wish I could tell you guys how I'm doing this, but I'm kind of just like moving it to where it like looks bunched up. Okay, so I cut all the burlap into its strands um, and I'm just gonna kind of continue. I really do think that is looking cute. you guys um it's noon is it yeah it's like 12 15 um i'm super excited because my sister is on her way and the table fit in her car i don't know how but it did so i'm super excited and can you just like take a moment for this this is just coming together so well it looks so good um but yeah i'm so excited for her to bring the table oh it's just so excited all right, you guys, Abby is here and she brought the table. We took out the other square table and it just has so much more room. But yeah, these are the chairs. It's like a high top table. So cute. 
love it and then we gotta do that that is looking so cute just imagine another one right there <gasps> Now she has nowhere to eat. <laughs> but she took it without telling her husband. So we'll see what Troy says when he walks in the house. I owe you 20 bucks. 25. Come to mama, come to mama. Okay, there it is. I don't know where to put it yet. Either there or there. Okay, so I have these. Pick a letter and I'll give you... Ronald Dahl? Ronald Dahl, yeah, the BFG. Remember that book? Yeah. Okay, are you going to do a D? What? what? What are you doing? These are just all... Oh, I know, but these are all the... Oh, I know. I know, but I was just going to put these on first. So how it looks is the bottom. Okay. Hi guys. Okay, so a lot of time has passed by. My battery is blinking and I don't have a battery with me, but this is the library finished we used the labels and then voila it looks so good and then i'm going to do that again on this side but if any more clips are bad quality it's because it's off of my phone so i'm sorry but yeah okay you guys update again this is taking a lot less time than that did so get through one and you'll be fine with the other Okay, so I'm using these thumbtacks I got from Target. I used one whole package for one of these. Okay, so what I'm doing is I'm kind of just bunching it and making sure I'm covering that other thumbtack and just going like that. And you kind of just, just see, see I don't, just kind of have to play with it. Okay, so I don't really like how this one comes out too much, so I'm just gonna take my stapler and just staple it like that. Okay, so I used these um, wire things to connect it like this. So connect it, and then I am going to go like this. And I'm gonna take this and stick it through the burlap because it has holes in it. And I know it's gonna be hard to see but you'll feel it hold on there it is like that and then I kind of maneuvered through the leaves and then I just tied it so that is kind of how I secured it on there okay my battery is still alive somehow it's blinking still but I thought I would do a last overview of the room so I haven't finished that, I need more burlap. Do you see how much is left? Oh, so annoying. But my sister did an amazing job. She kind of like put everything away. Um, this is my favorite part. So cute. My globe. And then this closet, hopefully my battery doesn't die. <laughs> um, yeah, so this is more of a storage. I still need to go through my math manip manipulatives. I didn't go through that yet. Um, but yeah, these are so beautiful. <laughs> you guys have no idea. I literally watched Janice's vlog or setup last year and fell in love. I probably watched her setup videos five times through the whole way. Um, I just loved her style. So I'm so happy that I was able to recreate it. It's so cool. But I hope you guys liked this video. Don't forget to give it a like, comment, and subscribe. And I will see you guys in the next one. Bye.